It's probably the most financial, the most remarkable financial story in a generation. It is just unfolding, but it's being ignored. It's certainly being overlooked. I'm talking about the return to prosperity, the return to strong economic growth, 4% growth, or perhaps even more. We haven't seen that in years. Prosperity is more than just statistics. It's a feeling. It is an atmosphere. The money is flowing, opportunities opening up, record number of people leaving their jobs and going for something better. There's optimism in the air. If you're in your 20s or early 30s, this is something you've not seen before. All you've known is slow growth and social division. Suddenly, Trump's in the White House talking up America, the economy's booming, and incomes are rising. Look at this. 42% feel better off now than in the Obama years. Only 26% say they're worse off. That is an extraordinary reversal. Remember Ronald Reagan? Are you better off now than you were four years ago? Mr. Trump could say that right now. So now the president's on his trip to Europe. He'll hold contentious meetings and he'll be met with insult after insult. The media will lap it up. They hate him just like they hate Judge Kavanaugh. You will hear very little about the extraordinary success of the Trump economic program. Oh, what a shame. What a media disgrace. Because prosperity is the glue that will bind America together again. And so far, that is President Trump's outstanding success.